the intriguing mystery of the desert. An elderly woman from the nearly abandoned village of Balat in supplication. An iconographic portrait of a Siwin girl carrying a traditional basket. Farid Fadil's paintbrush has brought them all to life on canvas. Fadil believes his art can express the human spirit in ways that words cannot. His creations celebrate beauty and nature and capture time and place on canvas. I feel that uh, once you go beyond this, the outer appearance and try to capture the soul or make um, a subject out of the portrait, then it ceases to be just a picture of somebody. Otherwise, photography could have done it easily. But every brushstroke is a decision that you make. Fadil says Renaissance and Pharaonic art have greatly influenced his artistic expression. While Renaissance art glorifies the human figure, Pharaonic art conveys the immortal. It's amazing how the artistry of the ancient Egyptians has managed to capture so much of the immortal soul. It was a, a religious art, sometimes a funerary art, uh, like in the Fayoum portraits. They are funerary portraits but they are so alive, and that is the paradox, the perplexity of the whole concept, you know, that you, you can bring life from death. At a time when art colleges were promoting abstract art or expressionism, Fadl instead studied ophthalmology and medicine. He found his studies of anatomy provided a more useful insight to the human body and soul. His art career began at an early age. He held his first public exhibition as a boy of 13. As a child, you're a little more vulnerable because you think your art is yourself so much that any attack on your art is a direct attack on you, which shouldn't be the case, I mean, or it is not necessarily the case. But um, I learned how to accept uh, the critique of people and to know that exposure at the end of the day is a very positive thing. For any artist, the purpose of art is to express and communicate. Fadel says he keeps his audience in mind as he creates his paintings. I try sometimes to see how people will receive what I paint. It's, it's often that I decide actually to work in retrograde. So I see how they are perceiving the artwork and I start to say, yes, I should really accent this because this is how the eye sees it. Fadel says he would like to see more art education in Egypt. People with an appreciation of art, he says, are less likely to be vandals or terrorists. Fadl believes art is essential in creating a complete person, a philosophy he hopes is apparent in the human dignity of his paintings. Abdullah Hassan for AUC-TV, Cairo.